Well, welcome back. Well, welcome back. You get that? Welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe today. Hey, drop the banger, man. Drop the banger, man. Tell him to drop the banger. Tell him. Hey, tell him to drop the banger, man. Drop the banger. Hey, man. Say, man. <laughs> Alright, today I have a banger for y'all, and that's why I had this. And you will know you find out just in a bit why I have my phone on my hand. Before we get into it, you know what we do. You know what we do. You know what we do. Bring this energy. Intro! Intro! Hey, this energy hype, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> You took my earphones. I'm gonna be figuring out what my hair type is. I have not done this yet, so you know, no caps. I think it's a 4A. What's your hair type, babes? 3B. My wife's hair type is 3B, and this is what she. Cap! Cap. <laughs> That's, okay. a, way, that's um, a good way to say cap. I'm a 3A, 3B. Some are 3A, cap. some are 3B. Oh, must... He's like a 4B. Yeah, I think I'm 4A or 4B. Because your hair is pretty coarse. I'm gonna figure it out right now. Okay. How about he. Okay. I just. Yeah, I'm gonna be using uh, my phone to figure that out, and you guys just, you know, just stay, stay, well, you know, stay, stay. I'm gonna look up, you know, I'm gonna look up hair types, different hair types. I'm gonna look up what's my hair type. Let's see, we got pictures. All right, you got the female pictures, but that's fine. Hey, we could learn something from them, right? 2A is a pretty straight. 2B Indian people. 2C, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. 2B is like what well, my baby. Your Yours is like a 2B. Huh? Your hair type is like 2B. What's that? Yes, it is. Unless it's very curly. Like, is this right here yours? Yeah, mine is like 3A, 3B. Was like that's that. wavy. Oh, that's wavy. Okay. Yeah, because mine go into spirals. Wavies don't. Oh, wavies yeah. are wavies just like just a... go down. Okay. So mine, like I said, is a four A or a four B. Mine looks like a four B. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it does. All right. So mine is a four A or a four B. Mine is not a four C because I know some people that have four C, and it's so hard for them to grow hair because literally the hair grow and it goes back down into the root. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard for them to grow hair. It grows so slowly. 4A is a pretty much African American usually have the 4A and 4B. The ones that are like straight up African. You know what I'm saying? Straight up African, they usually have 4C. Not to categorize or be racial or be funny or anything like that, but that's how it is. If yours is in the 3A, 3B, or 3C, you can still have a pretty tight dreads. But I would say if you have a 2A, 2B, or 2C, you will a little bit struggle with getting dreads and maintaining it because your hair is just that straight and just gonna pull off. But at the same time, it doesn't mean you cannot have dreads because I've seen I've seen Asian people with dreadlocks. Asian people like China, uh, Japan. I don't know if I've seen Indian people with dreads. But even though they're from Asia, they're able to get dreadlocks. And that's why I'm telling everybody that have any type of hair and I can grow hair, you can get dreadlocks. I know there are some people that can't grow dreadlocks because the, their hair don't grow as fast as they want to. And it takes them so many years, so many years, like two, three years to get to somebody that can grow for a year. And so be patient if you have that type of hair. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just that's how you're made. That's how you're built. I hope this video helped you guys figure it out. I always thought my hair was a 4A, which I'm around the ballpark, you know? And so don't be mad at your hair. Don't be mad at your parents. You know what I'm saying? Don't go over there and try to accuse your parents. And they ain't do nothing. That's how you was created. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, work with what you have and make the best out of it. If it is a short hair, then do short hairstyles. If it is a long Long hair, do long hairstyles. If you want dreadlocks, get dreadlocks. It don't matter what ethnicity you are. It don't matter what color you are. It really don't, man. This dread family, I think we need to be aware of people that are not African American or Africans that wants to get dreadlocks. Dreadlock is not given to one race. Dreadlock is not meant for one race. No hairstyle is really meant for a race. Everybody came from Adam and Eve. Everybody was created on this earth to be involved, to have interracial uh, marriages and experiences. And you know what I'm saying? I don't think we should separate each people saying, you can't have like, for example, my wife got braids a year ago. And some people were like, why did you get braids? Like, are you not, are you, is it not for like, 
they say it like low key too. They be like, oh, like ain't you like Mexican? Or I thought those hairstyles only work for black people. Type of thing, and it's just like, are you serious? It's like saying, oh, I'm from Ethiopia, so if, I, if you see me eating like Italian food, you know, I thought Italian food was made for Italian people. Like, it don't make no sense, man. It's like, it's a hairstyle. It's relax, you know what I'm saying? And some of y'all probably getting mad at me right now, and I don't give a dang, how about that? I don't care. You know, you can unsubscribe if you want to. I really don't care. At this point, I'm telling you, you cannot subscribe. If I had 100 subscribers or 10 subscribers, I would have cared. Right now, I don't care. My family is big and they're real. You know what I'm saying? You're a real fan. If you have a different opinion, it's not for you to get offended. It is for you to put an opinion in the comments. It's like, that's that's how it should be. I was telling them that you had some people hating on you because you had uh, braids. So oh. tell them about that experience and like what your thoughts is about it. I got them a year ago. Let me, let me help you. Come here. I don't think that gets it out. Okay. I got my braids like a year ago. It's probably more than a year ago. Um, I didn't want to get them for. I wanted to get them for like a really long time, like for months. I wanted to get them actually, um, but I never did because I was scared that people would judge me because I'm not black. Mm -hmm. um, and I finally did get them because I wanted to get them before his birthday because he had been talking about it. Um, so I wanted to get them for him before his birthday, which was in December, and so I got them done. Um, and people did like look at me different, talk to me different. I was super scared to go to school, honestly, like for some of my classes. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I go to ASU, it's super diverse where everyone has an opinion and everyone's opinion is valid whether it's right or wrong. So I was just like hoping as I went into class, like someone wouldn't say something crazy, but no one did surprisingly people really liked them and they were like, where'd you get them? And all these things. I only ran into like a few people that did treat and talk to me different. Like they kind of gave me the cold shoulder, like um, like just avoided me, like honestly. And I was just like, what the heck was going on? And I forgot I had my hair different. So I forgot like why they were treating me differently right. until I actually realized. And I was like, oh, and you know, they, some people came and apologized after, you know, so it was fine. Like I, I realized some people wouldn't be okay with it. He liked it so i was happy and i really liked them like it was super easy to get up and get ready like i didn't have to brush my hair because like, just doing my hair takes forever just because like with my curly hair if i want them to look good like i gotta do something to them like mm -hmm. i don't just roll out of bed and they're beautiful sometimes they are if i have it like in a bonnet but very rarely especially if i'm going somewhere um i like how they feel when they're refreshed so it's just super easy to style my hair with the braids but yeah it was i was super scared to get him like i was talking to him for months like should i get him but what if this he's like who cares he's like who cares if people don't like him and i'm like well, what if someone says this and he's like who cares he's like it's your hair i was like i guess yeah you're right and then i had i had already decided i was gonna get him so i just did it he found out the surprise but yeah yeah guys and that's like it, like i said it's real that people will hate on your like i don't know preference well, it's because like a lot of people aren't okay with it. Like some people get really offended. That's what I was telling them. That you say everyone can have braids or dreads. If I say anyone mm -hmm. can have straight hair, like anyone can have. Dreads. No, it's, it's not saying this. Everyone can have straight hairs. That's no, like what I'm saying can is get like braids. No, everybody. like okay, so there's that debate, right? Um, you can't get braids because you're not black. But then the other way is, oh well, I'm white. Why are you wearing a straight weave? Like I've heard that argument go back and forth oh, I never, because I never because they that. throw braids at them they throw straight hair oh, at them okay. i mean like, that, i mean that's fair so yeah it's, it's fair game it's, if they're it, doing it's that it's pretty like people take it super serious especially mm -hmm. at asu it's like it's crazy yeah and that's that causes a lot of problems it's like i was explaining to them i said it's like saying if i see you eating ethiopian food and i said that's Ethiopian food. Why are you okay, eating that? You're not Ethiopian. It's like, it's like, I will eat your food. I will wear your clothes. <laughs> I don't give a dang. If I bought it, it's mine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, at the same time, you have to be, of course, respectful of how you do it. You can't buy Ethiopian food and try to eat it with a fork. It's very disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> All my Ethiopians know that. Okay, thank you, Vince. Okay. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I brought my wife for you guys to know, like, this is real. You know what I'm saying? And let's end it. And this could be the family that could be positively affecting the community. And that's what I do a lot of times when people throw, like, shades and hates in my comments. I actually pin it in the top so everybody can throw positive comments at them and not negative. And I'll make sure I, I'll make sure I'll, I am the first one like, po that throws at them the positive comments. I appreciate everybody that subscribed. We should be at 10K soon, man, even before this video comes out. But till next time, keep acting. Universe and creating your own universe. I'm out. Love y'all.